Hello everyone, welcome to how to safely purchase a used iPhone. First and foremost, you want to check if the phone has an iCloud account connected to it and if Find My iPhone is turned on. To do that, hit settings, scroll down to iCloud. This phone has no iCloud account on it and Find My iPhone is not on because there's no iCloud on there. This is going to make sure that when you factory reset the phone, you do not get locked out of it and have to enter the last user's Apple password. Now that you have checked to see if there is an iCloud account associated with the phone and if Find My iPhone is turned on, you're going to want to check the IMEI of the phone, which will tell you the status with the current carrier, if the phone is reported lost, stolen, or if it's financed. On all of the iPhones below the iPhone 6S, you simply take a look at the back of the phone and the IMEI is in the bottom right corner of it. It's that long 15 digit number. You will go to swappa.com forward slash ESN and that will tell you the current status of the IMEI. If you wanna learn more information about the iPhone that you are purchasing, such as if it is still active on somebody's account, how old the phone is when its manufacturer's date was, and just the current overall status of the phone, all you have to do is go to iphoneaux.com Type in the IMEI of the phone and it'll give you all of that information. Now that you have checked the IMEI and the iCloud account to make sure that the phone is safe to purchase, you want to check the hardware and software functionalities of the phone. First, you want to open up the camera, make sure that it focuses and takes a picture. You want to open up the front facing camera, make sure it focuses, takes the picture. Open back up the front facing camera. Go to the video, make sure the video focuses and records, make sure the slow motion works on this phone, make sure time lapse works. Looks like it all works out just good. After that, you want to go to the voice memo. This is going to test the earpiece speaker for calls and the loudspeaker for any media that you're doing. La, 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 la. Make sure the volume's turned all the way up so you can hear it, and hit play. La, 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 la. There you are. So the loudspeaker and the earpiece works Now that properly. you know the phone is not reported lost, stolen, or financed, there is no iCloud account on the phone, and Find My iPhone is turned off, you want to check that the condition of the phone suits your needs. First, start by looking at the corners, the edges of the phone, going all the way around the metal frame. Sleep the screen and then just check the screen for scratches. There's very minor scratching on this screen. It suits me very well. And then just check the back of the phone to see if there's any dings, scratches, or nicks on there. Make sure this glass right here is not cracked. Check the camera. Make sure it's not cracked or scratched because that can affect the quality of the pictures at the very end. In closing, make sure you check the IMEI to see the current status of the phone. If it is reported lost, stolen, or financed, Make sure Find My iPhone is turned off and there is no iCloud account on the phone. Make sure that all the home buttons, physical buttons, power button, volume up, volume down, and the mute rocker switch work properly. Make sure that the camera, the earpiece, and the loudspeaker work and you're on your way to purchasing safely a used iPhone. If this video helped you, be sure to share it with your friends so it can benefit them too. Leave a like or a thumbs up on this video to help me out and subscribe to be updated on my future videos.